So I'm going to play a little game, and I've got the former governor and AG here who as referee to make sure that we play the game honestly. Okay? Let's do it. I'm going to make you the Federal Reserve. I want this to is the, the central bank to the United States of America. I am going to become all of the banks of America, particularly the big ones here in New York. I'm, I'm Citigroup, AIG, Lehman <laughs> Brothers. That's me. Okay? I can Are you wear with this. Me, can, I'm a bank. Okay? That, that, I can wear this at the U.S. Open and root for Federer. That, that's exactly right. It's yeah. dual purpose. That's yeah. a good look. I'm going to give you a stack of Monopoly money that is all all of the future money of the U.S. taxpayer, and the Federal Reserve has access to I it. I love this Enjoy game. yourself. Enjoy yourself. That is uh, the future wealth of America in your hands. Okay? Nice. Good stuff. I <laughs> am now a bank who has ex extended... Not, not a very promising pile of money there. That's <laughs> the future. Is, you the know. denominations just, are huge. I'm telling right. you, there's, there's like a $10 better. trillion dollar note in there. There's so much money there. It's, we, it's, it's 21st century money. You don't okay. need a lot to get a, a, a little. get you a lot. Um, last fall, when the system froze up. The banking system froze up. The problem was, Elliot, what? Tell us what the problem was last the, fall. The, 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 the problem was there was this unbelievable debt that supposedly had as collateral these all these credit default swaps and a housing market that had been valued at, at 100x. We woke up to realize it was valued at x. Right. And so suddenly we, there was nothing behind all of this debt and the banks were essentially insolvent right. and bankrupt. So the banks lent all this money to yep. pump up all these houses. In lending the money, they make billions for themselves. They not only made money on the fees, but they also then securitized the debt, sold it out into a marketplace. They, some of them at least, held virtually none of it because arguably they knew it was not going to be worth very right. much. And so they sold it to people unknowingly. The value drops. The banks, nonetheless, have a lot of debt that is collateralized by this yeah. supposedly valuable yeah. real estate. Boom, everybody's bankrupt. Everybody's bankrupt. The economy freezes. The risk Correct. is depression-era layoffs, total insolvency. Ben right. Bernanke hey, walks into the room. You're Ben Bernanke. You're the Federal Reserve. You're dealing with what Elliot just described. Total insolvency. No one can agree what it's worth. I'm the bank. I'm suddenly holding a pile of garbage. Nice. Okay? I'm going to bring it under the table. But the economy can't function if I can't get money for my garbage. So the Federal Reserve, using taxpayer money, basically becomes a goodwill store for the bank. So the banks take all their garbage to the Federal Reserve. You take that. Garbage, Dylan? And then, like the goodwill, the banks are able to write in what they believe the value of the goodwill bag is. And I believe that was $13.9 trillion, if you don't mind, for the bag. $13.9 trillion, please. Excellent. Give away all the big bills. No, no. That, 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 listen, it's a lot of money. So now the Fed gives the banks the $13.9 trillion. I now have cash again as opposed to a pile of garbage. That is inherently, by the way, a good thing in the short term because that's why our economy functions again. That's why the Dow goes to 9000 Fast forward to this summer, July of this year. We now want to know what's in this garbage bag because this garbage bag represents the risk of the future of this country. Really if, this is, if this is worth 13 <laughs> point, no, no, don't tell anybody. Day. The Fed doesn't want anybody to know. That's not. That's not the secret. The referee know? No, no. He's, uh, he wants to know. I want to know. Why we do you want to? Why do you want to know what's in this bag? Well, so I, why is it so important I, to I America? Know. I want to know if there's anything in there that is worth the money you've been given. And I want to know what you knew it was worth and when you knew what it was worth. If it was zero, why were you doing what you were doing? We asked the chairman of the Federal Reserve, or not we, Congress has asked the chairman of the Federal Reserve to tell us what's in the bag. What did you give the $13.9 trillion for? Ron Paul, who's basically never had a real momentum for a real piece of legislation in Washington, D.C., because he's an outsider and seen as a fringe player, suddenly has hundreds of signatures inside of the Congress to try to find out what's inside of this bag. Ben Bernanke, when asked what's inside of this bag and why he doesn't want to say what's inside of this bag, said the following. He said, if I disclosed more information about what's inside of what the banks gave to the Fed, it would inhibit discussion. If I disclosed what's inside the bag, it would inhibit the provision of information. Let me repeat that. Providing information about what's inside the bag of goodwill from the banks, which is all those bad debts that was given to the Fed, would inhibit the provision of information. And it would implicitly, he says, provide the sense that Congress was second-guessing or trying to override the Fed. I want you to think about Congress's relationship with the CIA and the back and forth there. And the CIA says, this is secrets. We don't get out of our house. Federal Reserve saying the same thing. But the problem is the Federal Reserve just extended $14 trillion of our money, our children's money, America's future, 
our national security. And now they don't want to talk about what's in the bag. And they did it because the banks created a garbage bag full of bad debts. Hey, Does that make sense, Jonathan? Uh, yeah, but I'm confused by one thing. Please. Isn't the difference between the Fed and the CIA is, is that the Fed is, a, is quasi-independent of... Of absolutely. Congress no, no, and, absolutely. and the White House, absolutely, and so absolutely. But wouldn't that be trampling on their autonomy? Whereas yes. with the CIA, well, it's tell a, them why there's an exception. Jonathan, let me tell you something. You're right. The Fed has benefited over the decades from the notion that it is quasi-autonomous. It is supposed to be independent. Let me tell you a dirty secret. The Fed has done an absolutely disastrous job hey. since Paul Volcker <laughs> left. A disastrous. You're insulting sorry, him. sorry, sorry. I hate, hate to break it to you. If you're giving the money to the, in this direction, I take a different view. The reality is. Is the Fed has blown it time and time again. Alan Greenspan, whom we now can look back, good guy, smart, all that. Well intentioned, they a bad blew system. it. They blew it bubble after bubble. They failed to understand what they were doing to the economy and that they, they've created multiple bubbles without permitting the economy underneath it to grow. We need to ask the hard questions. The most poignant example for me is the AIG bailout, where they gave billions, tens of billions of dollars that went right through conduit payments to the investment banks that are now solvent. They need to get the money to the banks. We didn't get stock in those banks. They didn't ask what had been going on. This begs and cries out for a hard, tough examination. The Fed was quasi-autonomous from the public, but it was run by the banks. You look at the governing structure of the New York Fed, it was run by the very banks that got the money. This is a Ponzi scheme, an inside job. It is outrageous. It is time for the Congress to say enough of this and to give them more power now is even crazier. And Ron Paul has a piece of legislation seeking to do this. There may be better pieces of legislation than his. I'm not familiar with it, but the point is that Peel there are people the layers of the onion. This. The Fed needs to be examined carefully. Do not buy their blather that simply, we've been so good, let us off the hook. Just the opposite. They've been terrible. I feel as if America has suffered the greatest theft and cover-up yep. ever. And that, yep. the, that the vehicle was this right here. Absolutely. Where banks created a pile of garbage. Yep that they paid themselves billions of dollars in personal compensation and then stuck the trillions of dollars worth of garbage with the American taxpayer. Dilbert, you, that to me is stealing. You were so right. There was absolutely no question when, when President Obama took over and he, go, go back even before that, back to the middle of last year, there was no question there needed to be a no, an enormous infusion of cash into the financial system. The questions that follow, one, who pays for it? And it has been only the taxpayer, not the banks. We weren't given shares. We weren't given enough collateral. We, we were given virtually we didn't nothing. We were bankrupt AIG. That, 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 we were, and, and we were given shares in AIG, not gold. One more than I got to go. Okay. Second, were they going to restructure the banking system to prevent this going forward? And the answer was no. They haven't done that. We still have too big to fail, and that is perhaps the most overarching That problem. is the most outrageous thing, that all this happened, and still we are not seeing honesty about the legislation in the late 90s under the Clinton administration right. and the rule changes under George Bush at the SEC that allowed the banks to create this garbage. And remember, the banks send lobbying money to politicians to change the laws so that they can create garbage like this and then stick it with Americans. I'm going to take the money, by the way, because that's kind of the deal here. Well, the bank, thank you so much. Oh, hang on. Dylan's wearing it. Put it back in. Put it back in. We don't want to know. It'll inhibit discussion. It'll inhibit discussion.